cats may rule the internet, but dogs remain humans' fondest companions, a relationship reaching into prehistory. Recent research has shown dogs were domesticated more than 11,000 years ago. Fenris here descends from dogs that protected Viking cows. Much earlier, however, the Persians also kept canine companions for various purposes, already during their first empire, roughly 550 to 330 BCE. The pre-Islamic religion of Iran, Zoroastrianism, considered dogs to be sacred. Dogs were created by Ahura Mazda to protect herds and flocks. The greater Bundahishin said dogs were able to drive demons away with their gaze. When a Zoroastrian died, their food was given to their dog for three days as an offering for the dead. Two dogs were also said to guard the path of the soul towards heaven. A legal text called the Vaidevdad has an entire section devoted to the dog, and it mandated things such as proper dog food and puppy rearing. Various evidence hints that the Persian Empire took dogs very seriously. Large limestone mastiffs were excavated on the Persepolis Palace Terrace. Some officials brought dogs with them on the Royal Road. The administration even gave dogs a higher food ration than human servants. One of the Persian queens had at least four dogs. A large-scale system is implied by the hefty groups of dogs attested. One document mentions 68 dogs traveling along the road. Some scholars think these dogs were used for hunting, as the Persian love of hunting was well known. Offhand comments by Greek historians, and in the Bai Devdad, however, suggest the Persians also used dogs in warfare, herding, and as household animals, just like today. When you pet your pooch, you are probably echoing the behavior of Achaemenid royalty and nobility 2,500 years ago.